Hello everyone, what is up? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're going to be talking about what's happening with XRP in the XRP community. Now as you can see here from XRP B, XRP 4 hour chart update. Yup, I'm calling it. Confirmation of the following trend inbound soon. We are so close. I mean, this does correlate with, you know, the following charts. It feels like we're almost there. Look how close we are. I mean, if this were to happen, it will be crazy, you know, finally. Next week comes from Crypto Bull, XRP finally finished accumulation. The next three months will be fireworks. Now as well, we hit support right there. So look at that guys, support, look what happened. All the way up there, support, all the way up here. If we were to go all the way up there, it looks like a couple hundred dollars. But that would be insane numbers to look forward to as we can see. But hopefully we do see those types of numbers one day. Now this is just a fun tweet I looked at from Pomp. This is how I'm greeting everyone the rest of the year. Oh guys, before we jump into news, I'd like to state I'm not a financial advisor, nor this is financial advice. This is just for entertainment value only. Now, today's video is quite interesting as well, guys. So, the Crypto Poet tweeted out, David Schwartz, CTO of Ripple, talks about adding assets pegged to an external value on the XRP ledger. Let's watch this video. This is David Schwartz, also known as Joel Katz, CTO at Ripple. Um, I recently released a list of suggestions for XRP ledger development. And I got a lot of questions about the stablecoin proposal, so I thought it might be helpful for me to walk through um, what I have in the design to give people a better idea of how I intended the system to work. Um, so first of all, it's a collateralized stablecoin. Uh, that means tokenized assets whose value is, are expected to remain constant in some unit. So if it's a dollar stablecoin and you have 10 of it, you're expecting its value to remain stable at $10. Um, these assets have a backing asset, in this case XRP. That means that there is something that um, is supposed to guarantee its value. Now in some of those systems you can actually redeem the stablecoin for the backing asset, in some you can't. Um, what's interesting about this proposal is that the stablecoins are perfectly liquid to XRP at face value on the ledger. So in other words, if you have a dollar in a dollar stablecoin designed on the system, what you have is a one dollar claim on, X, on, on uh, XRP enforceable by the ledger's payment mechanics. And the reason that that's important is with some other stablecoin designs, if the stablecoin isn't popular, it won't necessarily be liquid. If it's not listed on an exchange, if it can't easily be deposited and withdrawn, it won't be that useful. By the design of this system, the stablecoins can be offered through the on-ledger decentralized exchange and they spend like XRP. So you don't need to find some way to make them liquid, you can just spend them right on the ledger. And of course they can be pegged to anything that someone can provide a price feed on. Uh, fiat currencies are probably what people typically think of, like dollars and euros or whatever. But they can also be pegged to things like stocks or precious metals or any other value source. as long as so there you go guys as well i'll leave all these links down in the description below so you guys can investigate further as well there's a full video it comes from gordon gecko the xrp ledger was created for this moment in time they seen it coming this is the key tool to help global liquidity there you go key tool xrp to help global liquidity it comes from boy xrp interesting city ceo let's watch this video see a new trading process in banks as we go to the next financial crisis? Is, 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 fic, is uh, fixed income currency commodities, is it going to be something different for the bank than it is now, or certainly different than what it was in 2006? Well, one of the things, Tom, we've stopped talking about because the central banks have largely taken on the role mm -hmm. of being the significant liquidity provider, but bank balance sheets today around the globe are much smaller right. in terms of their dedicated capital uh, and risk-taking tolerance to pre-crisis. So when the Great Science Fair project ends around QE, mm -hmm. and we're talking potentially maybe I later love, this can year. Can I steal that? I, I've never used that. I love that, the Science Fair and project. We see, and we see well. maybe the Bank of England start to pull liquidity to tighten. 
maybe sometime early next year we see the Bank of Japan mm -hmm. and things start to change. What's liquidity going to look and feel like? Right. We don't know because it hasn't really been tested post crisis. Your court. What's liquidity? going to look and feel like guys xrp and patty stash were only a few months away from the biggest bull run the crypto market has ever seen only a matter of time before we're in the trillions the last all-time highs for the crypto space were in the billions i think around 800 billion if i'm not mistaken but remember now in the trillions that's going to be amazing when this happens and from boy xrp let's watch this video so uh right now the biggest concern I have is that most people think there's no problem of a likely recession this year or maybe even early next year. Generally, when people are very happy and confident, something wrong happens, um, as you know from your own research. So I am nervous that the conventional wisdom is that we have no recession problems around the world. Everybody's doing quite well. As John Kenneth Galbraith, a former Harvard faculty member, famously said, the conventional wisdom is usually wrong. And it might be in this case. So what would produced a recession this year. I'm not saying it will happen, but what is the thing that I most worry about? Well, I do worry that governments uh, maybe have a little bit too much debt, and maybe they, they have too much entitlement programs that they're not ultimately going to be able to honor. And at some point, people will wake up and say the U.S. government has $20 trillion of debt and unfunded liabilities that are hard to fa fathom about their being actually paid. But leaving that aside, and people don't worry about it for a while, I worry about geopolitical things that we can't anticipate, the so-called swans. So um, an unanticipated 9-11 uh, type event somewhere in, in the Western world, uh, a dirty bomb goes off somewhere, uh, Russia decides to invade someplace, uh, the Middle East uh, gets hot again in certain parts that are not yet hot. Maybe there's some more hot disputes between Saudi Arabia and Iran. We don't know. Maybe something between Ch China and Japan. So you never know what's going to happen, or it could be a pandemic. So, so he saw right there, I think this is where digital assets can really help because an efficient digital asset can really solve some of the key problems in global liquidity. Again guys, global liquidity, Larson, XRP. Now guys, we're to the fun part of XRP and the XRP community. Now this is quite interesting. Ram the Weird tweeted out, Jack is here, be ready, yes, within 6 days. So six days, guys, we'll have to watch out. And by the way, guys, today is March 1st, so a new month. We'll have to see what happens as well. Blue Eye Sweet Out, March 1, first day of the light year. My wish for you is that you're smarter than crafty. Remember, frozen money will have zero value. Not too sure what this tweet really means. It comes from Reborn, my friends. We are very close. We can see here. Remember this. Payments data in UK is changing again. Payments data across the globe. Fintech accelerator proof of concept. There you go, guys. Lots of connections happening between the industry. There's lots of things happening behind the scenes as well. Crypto maniac. Everyone in crypto is in for a shock of their lifetimes. Stay tuned. So guys, we got to stay tuned for what happens. Shock of their lifetimes. Now, Mr. Pool has come back and tweeted. This is quite interesting. The first tweet we can see right here. So, you know, that's quite interesting. Now, if we go down here, we can see Jaina Delton. The Raging Storm. Hint, in the next post, the table got flipped. Angers had happened in Belgium at Swift headquarters. They apparently are losing the battle and will have to accept XRP as a new standard using their ledger platform instead of their Swift platform. So guys, this is quite interesting. XRP, they will have to accept XRP instead of their Swift platform. Now, this connects to the last week for today's video right here. Again, from Mr. Pool. Now, if we go down here, Again, in Belgium, headquarters, Swift. So this looks quite interesting. We are living in interesting times as of right now. Who knows what's going to happen, but I'm looking forward to the future in a positive way. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And you guys, see ya.